Hello, uh, I would like to introduce my wife Alima from Lebanon. This is my husband, Antonio Abrio. He comes from Portugal, from a lovely country, very beautiful, and from a place called Santarém. My favorite place is also Discovery Gardens, but if I may say, I love the Emirates. I've been here since 2002, and uh, I feel like my second country, because I feel at home here to the, to the multiculture, a lot of friends from all nationalities, and it's really a country I love, and I plan to stay here for many years, if the else allows. I was living in Lebanon. physically so he sent an email and I kept it for two days before answering him and after answering him we started our friendship relation and then after that yeah I saw uh, in a website I saw a photo and the, the description of the CV and the, she was not married at that time I was divorced so I thought uh, I knew Lebanon before and I loved the country and I thought that time, this country is so beautiful, I need to marry someone from here. And in the end, it happened. I was living in Abu Dhabi at the time, I was working for the National Oil Company. And uh, later on, uh, when we got married, yes, we, we rent a flat in uh, Dubai Marina. But uh, it was very expensive and then we decided to move <laughs> to Discovery but, Garden. Uh, before that, we skipped something very important, it's the day when we met. Ah. First time physically we met, we were, we were speaking online, on Skype or whatever, and emails, but we never met physically except on the 14th of February 2005. 2005. So it's 10 so years came, this year that we met for the first exactly. time. Exactly. I came from uh, Lebanon to Abu Dhabi, I met him, and then uh, we stayed, I stayed several uh, days here to see also other opportunities, other companies and so on. So it was on Valentine's Day, so it's a very special day for us. Ah, the proposal, it was in Lebanon. He had to propose in Lebanon in front of my, my father. <laughs> it was not easy because I was raised as a Christian, you know, he's from a Muslim family. He had a convert. But uh, when, uh, when there is understanding and flexibility and respect for the difference, there is no problem. So her family is quite, uh, I would say, educated family. Her father studied in England, so he has a different vision because in a normal uh, Muslim family it would be, have been very difficult to, to marry between the different uh, cultures and religions at the time. Yeah. We danced on Lebanese music, we danced on Portuguese music and we made the family dance on Portuguese music. It Her was family very and my nice. family, they were dancing the same Portuguese music. We trained them uh, before the wedding and it was very, very nice. And we sing also right. one love yeah. song together. It, it proves was horrible. That, <laughs> that any culture, if there is understanding and love, there is no problem between cultures. Exactly. We contact, we communicate each other during six months, exchanging emails, knowing each other. I, uh, I learned to, to see the, the way she sings, her values, she learned my values, and then we decide to meet. Yeah, for, for a wedding of different cultures, uh, well, if it, do, it will not work, except if the two people are open-minded really open-minded and they can really adapt to the other cultures. Well, uh, thank you for these 10 years of happiness. You have been a great companion, a great wife. Mm. What can I say? Yeah, I'm <laughs> going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my love. Uh, yes, I have been wonderful years, really. I, I enjoy it. And uh, no, I sometimes I think that I have given up my career, but you are worth it. Thank you.